Hi guys, got a request from Carolus Gate Gaidratus. Apologies, I've got no hope of trying to pronounce that name. Wants to know whether the simple balloon powered uh, hover disc or whatever you want to call it will work on water. Well, when I made my original, that was back in 2013, I think. So it doesn't exist anymore and I didn't try it on water at the time. So I've got the same type of bottle top here that I've sanded the bottom nice and smooth so that we can glue it in place. Got a DVD here, but CD will work just as well. In fact, a CD might work better because it's probably a little bit lighter. Um, so we need to glue that onto there and then stick a balloon on top of it and blow the balloon up and see if it hovers. We'll try it on land first and then we'll see if it will hover on water. You can glue this onto there using super glue or two pack epoxy but for speed I'm just going to use my hot glue gun. Alright, that's on there. I'll let that cool down a second. There's two ways of blowing the balloon up. You could blow the balloon up first and then try and squeeze it over the top of that bottle, or bottle top, or put the balloon on there and blow up through the hole. The only problem with blowing up through the hole is if you're doing this um, somewhere where the floor is dirty, which will be most places, then you're going to be putting your lips onto all the dirt. So just bear that in mind. The advantage of this bottle top is that when you have blown it up, you can shut it down and that seals it so you can carry it around. Or you can just squeeze the balloon anyway and stop the air getting out till you're ready. I've blown the balloon up, as you can see and the cap is holding the air in for me. It's not a good idea to put a really big balloon on there because it unbalances it. So... Just do that again. holding it this time. Okay, so it works on land. Got a sink full of water. Let's just see if it sinks or floats anyway. Well it's floating. But it will sink if you tip it over. Right, we'll try it with some air in it. Well it sort of works, doesn't it? I didn't really expect it to. Put some water in the bottom of the bath, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, it's unbalancing and one edge is dipping under the water so the air is escaping out the back. I think that's probably a basic problem with this design. It tends to unbalance as the balloon moves around. So that means it can tip in and then all the air escapes. When it's on land it's not so easy for it to tip over because the ground holds it upright.
but once we're in the water the edge can dip in. That's happening each time now. The edge dips under the water and so all the air escapes. Oh well, we've answered that question then. It doesn't work on water because it unbalances. Back on dry land, just a few hints and tips. Uh, first of all I've had to change the balloon because the other one just burst. When you blow them up there's moisture in your breath and you may find when you put it on the surface the moisture coming out of your breath condenses and it actually tends to stick the disc to the surface. And if you look after it's moved you'll actually see a trail of moisture on the surface. The type of surface is important. It needs to be a shiny surface. Um, something like wood you may find that the moisture makes it stick to the wood straight away and it won't move. I've had quite a few people comment on the original video that I did back in 2013. Some people are really happy it works first time no trouble at all other people just can't get it to work and I think that moisture will be one of the problems depends on the air conditions as to how quickly the moisture forms the other thing is if you try and use a really big balloon it just unbalances and it won't go forwards at all. So you may have to experiment and find which size balloon works best for you. The other thing is I use this bottle top that you can close and open. That might be a problem because if you put it down and then open it you're actually pushing the disc down flat and that may cause it to actually stick. So I find the best thing to do is blow it up and drop it. And if you can see there's the moisture trail. That'll do.